Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a relaxing nighttime cleaning routine. This is something I do pretty much every single night during the week, so I'm really hoping you guys can get some ideas and just lots of cleaning motivation. To start out, Marshall and I usually eat dinner around 5.30, 6 o'clock, and lately we've really been into the show Survivor. So this specific night we actually watched a few episodes after dinner, had popcorn, and just really enjoyed spending some time together. To start my routine, I always like to start by picking up the coffee table, just the living room area, and then gathering up all of our dirty dishes. Marshall and I like to make sure that we run the dishwasher every other night or every night if needed just so that in the morning I can unload it and be ready for the day. I do feel like I need to mention that Marshall is a huge help around the house with like chores and stuff. It's just not something I show on my channel. We will usually like rotate days or if we're both really just exhausted we might team up and just do it together so it goes a lot quicker. For dinner this night, we made cheese ravioli and it was so good. I am a huge pasta lover, so anytime that Marshall agrees to pasta, I have to jump on it because he almost always has to have some type of meat or protein in his meal, which that's totally his thing. Pasta's totally mine. But once dinner is put away, I am gonna go ahead and spray down our stove and counters using my Mrs. Meyer spray. I'm really just gonna let that soak in while I go ahead and hand wash the rest of the dishes. I've just really been trying to let the multi-surface spray sit on our counters for a while just so that it's not only easier to wipe up, but it also has time to kill any germs. Once the dishes are done being washed, every night I really try to scrub out my sink just because I know there were a ton of dirty dishes and food in here and I just hate the smell of like a gross sink. So I always like to use the Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser just because in my opinion it does a great job lifting stuck on food and it takes away any unwanted odor. So over the last few weeks when I go to rinse out my sink after I've scrubbed it all down, I've noticed that our spraying nozzle doesn't really spray that much water. I know as soon as you squeeze it, the faucet is supposed to completely stop running and it's just supposed to come out of the nozzle, but that's not the case. So tonight I'm really gonna try soaking the nozzle in like vinegar and hot water for a while just to see if that clears out the holes and makes it work a little bit better. So what I'm doing is just taking a plastic bag, filling it with about half a cup of white vinegar and then half a cup of hot water. I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 to 20 minutes or so just while I get everything else done. And make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end if you guys wanna see how this worked out. Every night after I hand wash the dishes, I really do my best to get them put away, just so I have a nice clean kitchen to wake up to, but I will admit that this doesn't always get done. Some nights I will let the dishes air dry and that is just fine and I will put them away in the morning. It really just honestly depends how my day went and if Marshall and I have any energy to do it. But today we are tackling it because our counters are really dirty and they need to be wiped down. I'm really trying to go through and just use up all of my Mrs. Meyer spray because I have collected so many seasonal scents and they are just taking up so much space under my sink.
we always have a few one-off tasks that need to be done throughout the week. And this specific night, I needed to go ahead and refill the paper towel holder. Also, I needed to go ahead and switch out our hand towels. I like to do this once or twice a week just to keep things clean. And I always like to hang up two separate ones, one just for looks and the other to dry our dishes. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Now that all of that is done, I am going to take the time to take out our trash and recycling just because they are both overflowing. Again, this is not something I do every single night, but just when I see that it needs to be done, usually I will be the one to like take it out of the trash bin and just set everything next to the door. And then Marshall will go ahead and just bring everything to the trash chute and recycling. One thing that I always like to do is just sweep and mop our floors. I don't know how, but there is always so much dirt and crumbs that get tracked in here and I just hate the feeling of stepping on a dirty floor. I also do not mind doing this task. I know that some people hate sweeping and mopping, but I don't mind it and my mornings are always a little bit better when I take the time to do these few extra steps at night. Next step on my routine is just to quickly tidy up the living room and organize my desk area a little bit. We like to keep our apartment very cold, so I'm always in a sweatshirt and blanket during the day, so I wanna go ahead and get that folded up. But once we get everything in here organized, I do have one load of laundry that needs to be folded. Usually it's a lot more, but I have been doing better and keeping up on it. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. My nighttime cleaning routine does look slightly different each night, really just depends on what needs to be done. This specific night I do feel like I tackled a lot, but some nights I will need to do things like vacuum if it needs it or maybe wipe down our bathroom vanity. For the most part it's nothing crazy, but I'm always so glad I take the time to do it. If any of you guys have recommendations for me or any other tips and tricks just to help my routine run a little more smoothly, then I am all ears. Please just leave me a comment down below.
All right, you guys, so this vinegar and water mixture did wonders on the nozzle. I just scrubbed it really quick with a brush and it works as good as new. I'm so impressed with it. But I really hope you all enjoyed this relaxing nighttime clean with me. I hope it gave you all some great ideas on ways to improve your own cleaning routine. Before you leave, remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you all back here on Sunday for another episode in my Organize with Olivia series. Bye.